Hello everyone, I'm Connor, President and Entomology Secretary for the University of Southampton Wildlife Society and today I'm bringing you a video all about insects. The word insect comes from the Latin word insectum, which means with divided body, and this is because all insects are made up of multiple segments. Insects are thought to have originated in the Ordovician period, hundreds of millions of years before dinosaurs roamed the planet. Today, there is an estimated 900,000 to 1 million insect species globally, with around 10 quintillion individuals being around at any point. In Britain, we are home to 27,000 different species of insect, inhabiting different habitats and filling different niches. But before we get into that, I should explain what makes an insect. All insects have three pairs of jointed legs, placing them in the subphylum Hexapoda. Their body is divided into three segments, the head, which houses the antennae, the thorax, which houses the wings, and the abdomen, which houses the vital organs all of which are contained in a hard exoskeleton. Finally, all insects undergo ecdysis, commonly known as molting, where they shed away their old exoskeletons to grow. So now I've told you the key characteristics of an insect, it must be easy to identify them, right? The phylum Arthropoda, which insects belong to, has a huge variety of organisms, all of which appear similar due to sharing evolutionary ancestors. Since insects appeared 480 million years ago, they've diversified into all the different types that we have today. However, their morphological traits and adaptations have not changed much over evolutionary history due to them being so well adapted to their environments. This has led to many people confusing things such as millipedes, wood lice, centipedes, spiders and scorpions as insects. To help prevent further confusion, I'll be going over some of the common insect orders that we have in the UK and telling you what distinguishes them from other insects. Starting off, we have the beetles, which are part of the order Coleoptera. Beetles are one of the most successful invertebrate orders, with over 400,000 different species worldwide. They are covered in a hard, chitinous exoskeleton with a distinct wing case known as the elytra. This protective case is believed to be evolved from the forewings, which over evolutionary history became harder and harder to protect the membranous wings beneath. As a result of this, they lost their ability to be used in flight. As a result of their diversification, beetles have evolved to fill a variety of niches and feed on different food sources, making them carnivorous, herbivorous and also omnivorous. UK species include the interesting Devil's Coach Horse Beetle, as well as the largest insect of the UK being the Stag Beetle, which is now considered threatened. Moving on, we have the Diptera, commonly known as the flies. Diptera means two wings, which is a distinct characteristic of the group. Many flies have their second pair of wings reduced into structures known as halters, which are used to increase stability in flight. They are extremely diverse in their feeding strategies, feeding on nectar, faeces, blood and more. Common species include the blue bottle fly and also the bee fly. Dragonflies and damselflies belong to the group Odonata, with Odonata being derived from the word tooth, and this is due to their mandibles having a tooth-like appearance. It has been shown that dragonflies can predict where their prey will fly to, meeting them at that location to catch them. Both dragonflies and damselflies are found in wetland locations, both sporting long, colourful bodies with two pairs of very large membranous wings. An easy way to distinguish between the two is that dragonfly eyes meet at the top of the head, whilst damselfly eyes sit separate on each side of them. Emperor dragonflies and large red damselflies are common species that you will find here in England. Orthoptera, meaning straight wing, is the order containing grasshoppers and crickets. Grasshoppers and crickets are easily distinguished by their long saltatorial back legs used for jumping long distances. 
Organisms in this group are commonly found in long grasses, creating a high-pitched mating call known as stridulation. This sound is produced by rubbing their hind legs on specialised comb-like structures in the forewing. The type of development that orthoptrans go through is hemimetabolous, and this means that the young and the adults look virtually the same except for a few physical characteristics being different, such as adults having wings. Hemimetabolism is one of many developmental strategies that insects have taken advantage of, leading to their great success in the modern world. Some common orthopteran species that you may come across is the meadow grasshopper and the common field grasshopper. An order that contains some of the most well-known insects is the order Hymenoptera. Bees, ants, wasps, and the lesser-known sawflies are all part of this group, with 150,000 extant species identified. The major characteristic defining Hymenoptera is the way that they organize their nests and communities. Eusociality describes a type of social organization which involves cooperative brood care, overlapping generations, and a division of labor between reproductive and non-reproductive castes. These Strict rules have led to the success of Hymenopterans as they act as a superorganism with each individual acting somewhat like a cell. Furthermore, Hymenopterans are fantastic pollinators and are responsible for pollinating many of the crops that we humans depend on. Honeybees, black ants and common wasps are all species that you should see in your back garden. Bug is a word that is used colloquially as a replacement for the word insect, but what a lot of people don't know is that there is an actual order of insects which contains the true bugs, known as the Hemiptera. Hemipterans have specialised mouth parts used for piercing and sucking, allowing them to feed on a variety of different liquid sources, such as sap plant assimilates, blood, and even liquefied insects. Many Hemipterans are common pests, such as aphids, which cause huge economic Economic losses for the agricultural sector. However, other hemipterans can be used as biological control agents to combat these pests. You may find some shield bugs and some leaf hoppers in your back garden. Finally, we will discuss the order Lepidoptera, the butterflies and the moths. Used as a common example to understand insect life cycles, Butterflies and moths are holometabolous, meaning they undergo complete metamorphosis. Insects that are holometabolous have three distinct stages, that being a larval stage, a pupil stage, and an adult stage. Other orders, such as beetles, are also holometabolous. Like hymenopterans, lepidopterans are also important pollinators. Lepidopterans have long, siphoning mouth parts, known as a proboscis, which is used to extract nectar from flowers. Due to this feeding style, lepidopterans are also fantastic pollinators, like hymenopterans. Butterfly wings are made up of tiny flattened scales which give them the diversity of beautiful colours that we can see worldwide. An interesting fact about Lepidopterans is that the monarch butterfly undergoes one of the largest migrations known. It travels 3,000 miles from the Americas to Mexico to overwinter, creating an almost science fiction environment where the forest appears to be made of butterflies. The red admiral and the peacock butterfly are two species that are common in England. There are many more insect orders I could cover, and if you'd like me to go into more detail, please let me know on our Facebook page. Please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when we upload new wildlife-related content. Until then, bye.